Creating a scratch made turkey pot pie isn't a two second tutorial, but trust me, it's worth the watch. All you need is veg, gravy, shredded meat, and an unsweetened pastry dough. On medium to high heat, sweat the vegetables that you like. I added onion, leeks, carrots, and garlic. And don't overdo them because you want them to retain some of their structure. The pan's hot, so I throw flour in there. You need a thickener. I added box stock until I cooked it down and it got to the thickness that I would like it to be. As it thickened and cooked, I pulled in the veg, seasoned it, and then finished it with some frozen peas and the shredded meat. You can substitute meat with veg. You're going to need to cool down the filling because you can't put warm filling into a pie shell. I have top crust and bottom crust. The top crust is going to be flaky, which means much bigger pieces of butter, and the bottom is going to be more incorporated. I like to roll up my dough as soon as I mix it so that I don't have to do it more than once and toughen up the dough. So I weigh it and then I divide it by four. I'm making four turkey pot pies. I use a tapered French pin for control. It's like driving a car. It's very easy to use. I encourage people to try them. And I roll each one out just big enough to fit into an aluminum pie tin. I like an aluminum pie tin for my oven because I bake these on a baking stone. And this way the bottom doesn't remain unbaked and soggy and raw. You want to make sure that when you add your dough to your pie pan that you do not stretch it in there. You push it down in there and let it rest and then you chill it back up and divide up your fillings. These tops are obviously not big enough to fit over the edge, so I just made sure to crimp the edges very well and then I rolled them all in. And you don't have to worry about making it look fancy. You can practice how to do this, but I did four different things. I played and the big concern is that there is a really good crimp so that the insides do not explode and you know drip all over your oven. So this is a very tight seal. Making an egg wash does not have to be an involved process. I use one egg, one yolk, some cream, and a pinch of salt. I also use a hand blender to make sure that it's emulsified so that I don't get any drips and drabs all over my pie. So I'm going to egg wash using a really nice quality pastry brush that I only use for egg washing. And I'm going to do the thinnest, cleanest, neatest covering of my entire pie, the crust edges, and the sides going all along the pie tin. This is going to go in the refrigerator and then I'll do all the other pies, pull them back out, and then do a second egg wash. After the egg wash, I'm going to use a knife to cut vent holes. If you cut vent holes and then egg wash, the egg wash will seal up the air vents, and you might have problems. So make sure you have no egg driblets, looks horrible. Make sure that you're nice and even and that you haven't missed a spot. Freeze the pie so that you can wrap it and bake frozen at 350 until it starts to brown, where I turn the oven down to 225 and roast the pie. Toast the proteins and bring out all the flavor and please bake it as dark as you can stand it.